Ya ho, YouTube. I'm super ganky. And in today's video, we are going to go over some battle strategies you can employ in your daily routine to ensure that you take steps outside of your comfort zone on a weekly basis. Today's battle strategy is setting and the importance of changing your setting from time to time. If you're watching this video, there's a more than likely chance that I met you at FIU. FIU is my primary comfort zone and since I've gotten back from Japan, I've sought to go there almost every day. Somewhere around five to six times a week. This isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing. But this is not a question of good or bad. It's a question of effective or ineffective. The problem with this is that all comfort zones eventually become normalized. And when something becomes normalized, the opportunity that surrounds the setting becomes predictable. Predictability being one of the key components to mediocrity. Mediocrity being the biggest passion killer in existence. If you saw my last video where we talked about the importance of contrast to the daily routine, link in the description if you haven't. The message that we were trying to convey was to ensure that every day is meaningful. Whatever you are doing is meaningful and using positive thinking to create the meaning from nothing. Today, I'm at Books and Books, opposed to being at FIU. Look, it's a ladder. It's a book ladder. I've only seen this in movies. Why is this shift valuable? Because just from the simple action of changing my usual setting, I was forced to confront the reality that there is a world outside of my comfort zone. People I haven't talked to, sites I haven't seen, experiences I haven't made, all captured in the simple action of just going somewhere else. If you find yourself spending most of your waking hours in the same place, doing the same things, I would strongly recommend, and it can just be once a week, to change the place. Not the things, but the place. Because the setting is what's going to give you contrast to the work that you're doing. While still making progress towards your goals. Ayy. And I don't just mean on the fly, in the heat of the moment. We're talking about realistic ways to take steps outside of your comfort zone. And having them be meaningful. I'm talking about finding a reliable place where you can make a new comfort zone in. That was books and books for me. I want to be a writer. It's a really great bookstore. I like talking to people. There are lots of people to talk to and the staff is really friendly. I like to work. It's a great environment to work in. So what steps can you take today to find a place you can call your own? Start by identifying what you'd like to do. Whatever the first five things are, try to cut them to three. Then look for a place where you can do these things at that's at least 30 minutes away from your original comfort zone. Not too close, but not too far. Then, and this is the most critical step, make sure to go out and scope the area. Before you work in that environment, just go there, spend a day, see the area, check it out. Not all places will be perfect, but the more places that you go to, the more perspective you get, and then BAM! you'll find the right spot. That's the video for today, YouTube. If you like my content, don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, or smash that like button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.